Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my SQL statement tutorial, where I'll teach you everything there is to know about SQL and MySQL. Today, we're going to go over the like, regular expression, in, not in, and delete statements. The like statement allows you to search for parts of text. For example, you can see here, started this query off with the select statement, followed by the star, which means everything, from US presidents, which is the table I'm going to be looking for information in. Then we have the where statement. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking for all first names that begin with the two letters A and N, and then follow with any number of additional characters. That's what the dollar sign represents here. So that's how you would use the like statement. And for example, if I queried a US president's table, I would receive the results Andrew Jackson and Andrew Johnson. The percent symbol is known as a wildcard character. It stands for any number of characters. So the last SQL statement asks, send me all of the data on US presidents whose first name begins with the letters A, N, and is followed by any number of additional letters. You can also use the underscore wildcard. It's used to represent a single character. For example, I have here the select statement followed by the star, what I'm doing here is looking at the pres U.S. President's table, and I'm looking for all last names that are exactly five characters in length. For example, Adams, Buren, Grant, etc. By searching with the regular expression statement, you can perform extremely complicated comparisons and searches. I covered regular expressions in another tutorial in depth, but here I'm going to go through some things you can do with regular expressions in SQL. The format for using regular expressions in SQL is, again, you see here the select statement followed by the star, and we're going to be looking at the US president's table, and in the where clause you see here I'm performing a regular expression test on the variable last name. Just to briefly go through some regular expression sequences in SQL, the caret symbol matches the beginning of a string, the dollar symbol matches the end of the string, the dot operator matches any single character or new line. Here you can see with these brackets surrounding the letters A and B, I'm looking to match any character that appears in the brackets. And again here with the caret symbol in the beginning, I'm looking to match any character that does not appear. E followed by the star symbol matches zero or more instances of the pattern represented by the letter E. So if I was looking for characters that began with A-N, I would have A-N there instead of the letter E. Down below that, you'll see that we're trying to match one or more instances of the pattern represented by the letter E. We're trying to match zero or one instance of the pattern represented by the letter E. And finally, we're trying to match either a pattern that's represented here by the variable X1 or the variable x2. Here we're looking for a number being represented by the variable y, instances of the pattern x, and again if this is not making any sense go watch the regular expressions tutorial and then you'll totally get it. Again we're going to try to match y or more instances of the pattern x in the second statement you see here. On a third we're going to match 0 to y instances of the pattern x. And finally, we're going to match between Y to Z instances of the pattern X. So again, if it's a pattern, what, what I mean is just simply a letter, a number, a white space, any symbol you can imagine being in a text file. And just to focus in on this final statement here, let's say Y was 1 and Z was 3. What we, what we would be doing here is trying to find between 1 to 3 of whatever symbols are, con are contained within the variable x. You can use the end statement to shorten your queries in SQL. When you need to search for specific values in the past, you had to write multiple comparison operators that were separated by OR statements. Here you can see an example of that, where I have multiple OR statements where I'm checking is the first name equal to Andrew or is it equal to James. With the end statement, I can shorten that query dramatically. Instead, I just put the end statement here and then follow that up with all the names I want to search for inside of quotes and finally inside of brackets. The not statement is the opposite of the end statement. For example, here I'm going to be searching for 
instances of first name that are not equal to Andrew and James. You can also use the not statement to get the opposite results with other comparisons. As you can see here, what I'm doing in the comparison on the line that starts with where not, I am checking for all of those US presidents who have an age less than 50. But then by putting the not symbol after the where, what it is going to return instead is all the US presidents that are over the age of 50. You can delete records using a similar format to how you have been selecting and inserting them. Let's say you accidentally entered Ben Franklin as a president. This is how you delete him from your table records. You'd start off with this statement, delete from, then you would list your table name, where first name is equal to Ben, and last name is equal to Franklin. Follow that off with a semicolon, and Ben Franklin's been deleted. Ben Franklin and the whole row of data on him, just so you know, is going to be deleted, not just his first and last name. Now there are limitations on how you can use the delete statement. You can't delete a single or multiple columns of information. The delete statement is used to delete rows, and you can delete multiple rows if you define them with your where comparison. Well, that's all we're going to talk about in part three of my SQL statements tutorial. Hope you learned a lot. Catch you next time.